the floor made up in robot. So, does anyone remember the 1955 Disney classic, Lady and the Tramp? Where it was first released on DVD on March 20th, 2012. If so, then what if I told you that I discovered something surrounding the topic? I was around YouTube watching source filmmaker videos till I got an email from my old friend, who I shall not mention due to reasonable reasons, who said that I should watch this. Now, my friend posts found footage of bizarre shit on YouTube like, Squidward's Suicide or Marina Mortegard Glassdorf. I swear he likes this kind of stuff, and people, at my workplace at a local pizza hut, looks at him and knew he was a bit, odd. Sometimes he posts his stuff on YouTube as well, like a monkey shitting giant rats, or people being eaten by giant spiders. As he told me about this email, it made me think he made this just to freak me out. But the letter said that he didn't. I looked, and it was a video file under the name, cyandm.wmv. As memory serves, Cy and M are Aunt Sarah's twin Siamese cats and minor antagonists in Disney's 1955 film. When I clicked on it, the video started with the same setting from Lady and the Tramp, only in another area. The thing that was striking, was that Aunt Sarah's home reminded me of the Haunted Mansion, only it had four angel statues in her gardens, three birdhouses, and two garden gnomes. Cy and M were watching a teenager entering the backyard with his buddies through a window, the boy decides that it's quote unquote, time for a home improvement. The animation in this video was indeed like any other Disney animation style, only in this video, it was like as if it was made on new grounds. Like it was made by a famous YouTuber. Cy and M watched as the teens grab out paint cans and brushes, and went to paint on the house, but the two Siamese cats grabbed the two gnomes and threw them on some of the two teenagers' heads. And they were not unconscious. The teens woke up strapped to two wooden beds and was being stretched till they were ripped apart. It took me a second to make the connection, but it hit me that they were strapped on torture racks, and was pulled apart by Cy and M. The teens had already fled, and Aunt Sarah went out and checked outside. She saw nothing but the paint buckets the teenagers brought out. The garden gnomes were shattered after the impact on the two boys' skulls. I decided to brush it off as a messed up video and continued watching. It roughly cut to a still image of my house, which lasted around 20 minutes. I looked out the window at where the photographer would have been, but there was neither anyone nor a trace of anyone there. I thought what the hell was wrong with my friend, and why would he send me this? I tried to go to sleep that night, but I just couldn't. I ended up sneaking downstairs in the middle of the night and sitting in the kitchen all night, with the light on and a huge supply of caffeinated drinks. The morning soon came, and I decided to watch the rest of the video. Why? Cause I was that stupid. I wished I would just leave it, since I was a huge fan of Disney as a kid. It roughly cut to a still image of Cy and M staring at the viewer. After a while, I realized that it wasn't a still image, it was a video of Cy and M sitting motionless and staring directly at the viewer. They would periodically turn their heads as if cracking their stiff necks, but they would never blink. They did this the majority of the video, which I checked the time code out of boredom, and it was roughly 10 minutes and 30 seconds. Cy and M closed their eyes tightly while still staring, and then opened them to reveal large, glassy fish-like eyes. I jumped out of my skin as they did this, and I can hear what sounded like a high-pitched drilling sound, which broke the silence. I exited out and placed the laptop inside the drawer. That night I woke up in what could be described as conscious sleepwalking, meaning I got up in the middle of the night and did something while being fully conscious and aware, but still drawn to do the thing by some sudden urge. I subconsciously took out my laptop from the drawer and clicked on the WMV file. I sat down on and suddenly awoke from my sleep. I noticed I was in front of the computer, about to watch the video. I wanted to exit out and go back upstairs, but a strange urge or force told me I needed to watch the final minutes of the video. The video started with Cy and M looking at a nine-year-old boy falling asleep through the window, and knew the boy's parents are going to a fancy club. They silently sneak in. They quietly said to each other that, wherever there's a sleeping boy, there's milk nearby. They walked on top of the child, who is still in bed. 
Sai brought with him, a large carving knife. He asked N to place the boy's arm over the bed to him, which he did. Sai then began to slowly slice a thin layer of flesh from the boy's arm, like he was peeling a potato. The boy woke up by the sound of peeling flesh, and looked over to see his own blood immediately began to flow, and the room was filled with the sounds of the boy's screams. And just watched, calmly, as if he wanted to actually see the rest. Sai continued to slice layer after layer of flesh from the boy's arm, until he hit bone. The boy was wailing like a banshee at this point, and I was in absolute shock. I felt like I would violently throw up at any moment. The boy's arm was drenched in blood, which had spilled onto the floorboards and created a puddle. Sai and M lapped up the blood with pleasure on their faces, and the video finally ended. This morning, I went back home from work, wanting to record the video so I can post it on YouTube. But my house was ransacked, I knew what happened. Oh shit. I've been robbed. My laptop was nowhere in sight. I thought the burglars would sell my laptop for a quick buck, but when they look at that WMV file, boy oh boy, won't they be surprised. Keep in mind this story is Disney related, and let this be a warning to all of you out there reading this. If you come across some bizarre episode of a cartoon or a sitcom, never ever view it. Watching the episode would either ruin your childhood or drive you insane, scare you to death. It's just, not worth seeing. It's not coming back, the WMV file is not coming back. I guess this was a miracle sent from God or, whatever it was. Even though my house was now back the way it was. I got on my phone and demanded my friend to tell me what demon possessed him to send me this goddamn video. He said that I must have not finished reading the rest of the email. He said that he wanted to get rid of it, he found this video while searching through the web, he somehow came across it on accident. He wanted me to delete it, get rid of it, and not let anyone see it. I told him everything. And he was somehow pleased. Getting robbed was a bad thing, but he said at least it's gone forever, wherever it is. The video is still out there. If you see a video under the name cyanm.wmv, anywhere on YouTube, on Google, please provide some proof of some sort, a video, a snapshot of it, whatever. Prove the world that I did not imagine or dream it. It's for a lucky cause, cause it's been haunting me for weeks now. It's been driving me crazy, I keep having nightmares of Sai and M mutilating me in bed, and wake up sweating like a pig. If you see it, do not let it out of your sight, record it, snap a photo of it, anything. Let them know that I'm not crazy, and whatever this thing is, it's far too real to be a hoax. Right?